All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.5, um, problem number 5. All right, so explain using the, the theorem, uh, y function is continuous at uh, every number uh, in its domain. All right, so let's see uh, the uh, part, first one. Uh, g of v is a polynomial, all right? Uh, uh, this is not a po polynomial, this is actually rational. All right, so uh, on the second one, uh, g of v is an exponential function. That's not true. All right, g of v is a rational function. It is a rational function, so it is continuous at every number in its domain. So this is going to be the correct choice, not the trig, uh, not a trig function, and not continuous. So it's a uh, right. So we have the right choice there. Then we want to state the domain. All right. So finding the domain is uh, fairly easy, right? So remember that uh, when you have a rational function, we have to make sure that the denominator is non-zero. So we have, uh, oops, sorry, uh, I messed that up. Uh, let's see. All right, so we have uh, v squared uh, plus 2v uh, minus 63. So we want this to be non-zero, so not equal to zero. So we can uh, factor this out. All right, so this is going to be v, and then this is going to be uh, uh, v here. All right, so we have to come up with two numbers. Um, if you multiply them together, you get negative 63. So one of them has to be negative. And then uh, sum is going to be positive too. So I'll try seven, negative 7 and a positive 9. Uh, would that work? All right, so it looks like it's, uh, if you multiply negative 7 and 9 gives you a negative 63. And uh, negative 7 plus 9 is positive 2. So that would work out, All right? So by setting, uh, you know, this one uh, equal to 0, uh, we can get the v is equal to 7. So v is equal to positive 7. And then uh, if you set the other factor uh, equal to 0, then we can get the v is equal to uh, negative 9, right? So, uh, uh, actually, so not, not equal to, right? So, uh, all real numbers except for those two numbers, uh, 7 and the negative 9. So, if you want to write the uh, interval notation, you're going to write it to, uh, as a negative infinity 2. So, smaller number is negative 9. So, skip negative 9 and go all the way to 7 and then skip 7, and then go all the way to positive infinity. All right, so uh, let's uh, type it in. All right, so domain is going to be, uh, start from negative uh, infinity uh, to negative 9, then skip. Uh, so we're going to use the, uh, let's the set symbol, so union. All right, so we're going to have uh, negative 9, all the way to positive 7, and then skip uh, 7, and then go all the way to positive uh, infinity, all right? So we have that. All right, uh, let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back, and it uh, looks like we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.